Hi, this is Jolting Jonathan with Mad Science of Southern Massachusetts in Rhode Island. Thank you for tuning in to this week's answer for the science question. But before we do the answer, I just want to give a really special shout out to Mr. Folsom's fifth grade class up at Thousand Island Central in Clayton, New York. They have been tuning in every week, looking at our Facebook page to see what the science question of the week is. They've been discussing it as a group and answering it, and so far they've been usually pretty much right. I just want to say, guys, how you doing? And we love it when you guys answer our questions, teachers. Parents, we love it when you share this with your kids. This is what we're all about, getting you guys and your kids excited about science. So, I'm glad you guys are answering the question and enjoying the Facebook page. But anyway, on to the answer. This week's question. We talked about how previous weeks, we had talked about how a can of Coke will sink in water. What we want to know is if we had a can of Pepsi, a can of Sprite, a can of Diet Coke, which of those would float? So, what we're going to do, we're going to try it. I've got my can of Pepsi right here. We're going to put it in the water. Sinks to the bottom. We're going to take that out. Our can of Sprite. Sinks to the bottom. Our can of Diet Coke. The Diet Coke floats. Now why is that? It's because of the sugar that's in the Pepsi and the Sprite. See, sugar is very dense. It's heavier than the artificial sweeteners that are in the Diet, Pepsi, or the Diet Coke. To show you what I'm talking about, this is 10 grams of artificial sweetener by weight. This is 10 grams of sugar by weight. A lot less in here means it's a lot heavier, a lot dense. And sugar, because it's so dense, is actually going to sink right to the bottom. If you see right there, that sugar sinks straight down to the bottom. But the Splenda floats up at the top because it's less dense. So, I know you're probably thinking, how much sugar exactly is in these things? Well, the Diet Coke, there's no sugar in that. The Pepsi, 41 grams of sugar. 41 grams. The Sprite, 38 grams. Other sodas that I know you're curious about. Coca-Cola, believe it or not, 39 grams. And the Big Mac Daddy of Sugar, Mountain Dew, with 46 grams of sugar. That's 46, all that sugar in one can. And in case you're wondering, Diet Pepsi, just like Diet Coke, absolutely no sugar in it. So, in short, if you answered, the Diet Coke will float, you were correct. Tune in next week for our next question and our next answer. But, I have one more thing. I need your help. I'm running out of questions to ask. I just can't think of what else to ask. I know there's tons of stuff that people want to know, but we're just coming up short right now trying to figure out what you guys want to know. So that's where I need your help. Right on our post. Right on our page. Let us know. Tell us exactly what you would like to know. Send us an email. We want to know what you guys would like answers to. See you next week.